Let me tell you a secret. You can spot a video edited by a beginner right away. But in this video, I'll show you a few simple yet super effective tricks that will instantly make your videos way better and more professional. If you are sitting in front of your computer right now, hurry up and animate your still shots. You can't imagine how big the difference is between videos with dynamic shots and those with static ones. Camera animation makes a video more dynamic and exciting, even if the original shot was static and dead. But why do people forget about it? Many think it's difficult. In reality, you can start by adding simple and basic movements and they will significantly improve your video. If you look at popular creators on YouTube, you'll see they hardly ever have static shots. Almost every bit of footage is dynamic. It could be a camera pan from left to right, top to bottom, or even fly around Stuff like that. Of course, you can do fly arounds and posts, but if you're not, camera animations don't have to be complicated or fancy. Even simple camera movements can drastically change how your video is perceived by viewers. It can be something simple like a slide zoom in or zoom out effect. Zoom is actually the most universally effective trick for bringing some life to your shots. And the interesting thing is, the effect doesn't have to be very pronounced. Even a 5 to 10% zoom can make the video much more interesting. Interesting. And it's super easy to do. Go to more tools, animation, advanced, click add keyframes and now place keyframes at the beginning and the end of the video. Double click on a keyframe and then manually stretch the video. And check this out. Now the video is far more engaging. And as you can see, it only takes a couple of seconds to do. Another awesome trick that editors often overlook is syncing your editing to the background music, AKA editing, also known as editing by beats. I've seen a ton of videos that had so much unused potential of the soundtrack. You've probably seen videos where the shots change without any connection to the rhythm of the music and trust me, it's really easy to fall into this trap. When editing a video where we are speaking, we instinctively adjust the visuals to match the words. From a storytelling perspective, this is convenient and helps build the narrative. It simply makes it easier for the viewer to understand what we're talking about. Here's the problem. Such editing can be incredibly boring and predictable and people often leave choosing the soundtrack to the last stages of editing, which is fundamentally wrong. Sound and music in the video shouldn't exist separately from what's happening on screen. So I advise everyone to sync their editing with the music beats to the best of your abilities. There are two ways to do it, manually or automatically. Manually, you'd have to find beats by hand, place markers and all the hassle, but the easier way is to do it automatically. Go to more tools, audio, beat detection. The program will then give you a bunch of small markers in the timeline and all your videos will clip to them. And check out the result. Editing by beats not only makes the video more cohesive, but also helps improve viewer retention. We all respond very well to any rhythms without even noticing. We start nodding our head when we hear a rhythmic song. So if your videos, music and editing are synced, the viewers will be more engaged, like hypnotized. But here's an important tip. Don't change shots with every beat of the music. Skip a few. Use your sense of rhythm. Try to look at your video from the viewer's perspective. If you've already edited a couple videos, there shouldn't be any problem with this. These first two tricks already show that editing videos isn't really all that complicated. All you need is a clever and intuitive editing program, and you won't find anything better than Movavi Video Editor. It has everything you need to create professional looking videos without complexities that can be overwhelming for new users. Movavi Video Editor includes a wide range of effects, animations, and music to help you create engaging videos. It also has a number of smart features that can help you save time and effort, such as automatic background removal and noise reduction. And now the most interesting part, get ready to have your mind blown, folks. Movavi's got a deal that's too good to pass up, an 80% discount on all the apps in an amazing Movavi Unlimited plan. That's right, you heard me, 80% off. So don't wait, hit the link and get yourself the ultimate video editing and production experience at a price you won't believe. Trust me, this is one offer you don't want to miss. Another cool technique is the L cut and J cut. L and J cuts help create smooth transitions between scenes using sound. They are named after the shape of the letters L and J formed by the audio and video tracks on the timeline. And L cut is when the sound from the previous scene continues into the beginning of the next, even after the video has already changed. This creates a smooth and natural transition effect, making it easier for the viewer to follow the change in shots. A 
J cut does the opposite. The sound of the next shot starts early before the video changes. This can be used to build anticipation of what's coming next. Making these effects is super simple. Just drag the audio track of one video over another so that the video starts before or after the sound changes. But despite the simplicity, it's important to remember that using L and J cuts require a creative approach. It is very important not just to apply them just for the sake of it, but to think about how they can enhance the experience, how they affect the emotions of the viewer. These aren't just technical tricks, they are storytelling tricks first and foremost. No wonder these techniques have been a staple of filmmaking since the very beginning. Another awesome but often underrated trick is cropping. Most of the time, the footage in the final video looks exactly like it was shot by the camera. Experienced YouTubers usually plan their shots in advance, so they don't need to crop anything in post. But it's much harder for beginners to predict what to focus on, and often, even during shooting, the shot might be set incorrectly and the object that should be in the center ends up on the side and vice versa. I've seen this so many times, especially on smaller channels, but simple cropping can usually save such shots and, and makes the videos a bit classier. Go to more tools, crop and rotate. Now manually stretch and position the video and there you have it. Now the video looks much better and the attention is focused on the skateboard and tricks instead of being scattered all over the place. But if you want to shoot the videos and have enough freedom to crop later, you need to take care of a couple of things. First, take a wider shot and leave a bit more space around the main object than you think you need. Second, before you start shooting, think about the composition of the frame and how you might crop it in the future. And when cropping, remember the rule of thirds. Mentally divide the frame into nine equal parts using two horizontal and two vertical lines. Place key elements of the scene along these lines or at their intersections. This will help create a more balanced look. And if you really want to make your videos more professional, don't forget about stabilization. No matter how exciting and beautiful your shots are, no one will like them if the camera is shaky. Stabilization removes or minimizes the shaking, making the video smoother and more cinematic. Movie geeks might argue that many Hollywood movies used the shaky cam technique. I totally agree with you, but in movies it's used sparingly and only in situations where it's needed to create a certain atmosphere. When everything shakes, viewers usually aren't happy. Do you remember Quantum of Solace? The most common complaint about this James Bond movie was and still is the camera that is shaky all the time. The easiest and safest way to go for you is to stabilize all your shots first and then remove stabilization only where it's really needed. Stabilizing video in Movavi Video Editor is super easy. Just go to more tools and select stabilization, then select the level of shakiness and let AI do its magic. And there you go. This looks much, much better. Try to use these tricks in your next video and I can guarantee you that we'll get much more professional. And as you saw yourself, every technique takes no more than a couple minutes to implement, so you're literally losing nothing here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.